Going up the stairs is another example where the work is, may or may not be exactly what you're expecting. The force you're applying as you go up the stairs is straight up, but the direction you're going is at an angle. And so we have to get the component of the force that's in the direction of motion. It ends up being F cosine theta, where theta is the, the angle between the direction of motion and the force. Now, you're going to say, but I have to go all the way up here, right? And this force, by the way, is the weight of whatever object you're carrying, in this case, a briefcase. And you're like, all right, I've got an angle. I've got my force. I've got my stairs. I'm going up the stairs at some, at some distance D up the stairs. I got my force here. Um, and you're going to ask questions about, well, you know, where I'm really going is I'm going up by a height H. And we'll get to this later. How do you get to, you know, the amount of work we do here has to be a particular value. Well, keep in mind, you're going up this, you're applying a smaller force. But if you're going straight up, you do F times H. So what's the relationship between H and D? All right, you know, F times H gets us to FMG. Well, here's theta. Here's theta. That means theta is there. The relationship between H and D is that D, uh, H, sorry, is D cosine theta. So if you went straight up, you'd have F times D cosine theta. If you go up at an angle, you've got D times F cosine theta. You get to the same place in terms of the distance you go up the stairs.